Hey, how's it going, y'all? Going pretty good for me. I think this is like the fourth time Truex has won when I've worn this shirt, so yeet, yeet for that. Um, pretty bad weekend, all things considered. Um, I did not enjoy most of this. I did not enjoy most of the festivities at Dover. Um, I watched maybe 1% of the Xfinity race and listened to the rest of it, and I was not impressed. There were some minor interesting moments. The truck race, probably the best of the weekend, and it was like the worst truck race of the season. <laughs> ah, but yeah. Um... Yeah, the first two stages were it. The first two stages of the cup race were it. The, the, because it ended. Because what was that? What was that? Like, three green flag passes for the lead in the last 20 laps of stage two? <laughs> what? I didn't expect that. That's for sure. I didn't expect anything out of this race because actually the fall, the the spring Dover race is usually the better one of the two. That's a good sign. That's a good sign for the things to come here. But yeah, pretty bad race all all around. I'd give it a four out of ten just because of that second stage. Everything else was a one out of ten. Oh, what a boring race that was. Wow, a minute and 38 seconds. That is this video? Is that, is that really this video? That, that really is? Um, two East races this weekend. And Deegan got fucked in both of them. No shock there. Um, Deegan got fucked. That's going to be a... Um, that's probably going to be demonetizable in the near future. But anyway... Um, just all this bird shit all over my car. It's pissing me off. Um, Nashville happened in Arca. That was pretty bad. <laughs> but there was like two competitive cars in that race. So. It was also not televised. <laughs> Dink thonk on that one. Yeah, um, this is a pretty good video. Gotta say, this is truly I'm going all out with this one. Um, tomorrow's video is good. It makes up for this, that's for sure. Um, I got nothing, dude. This is just, I don't have anything. I don't, I don't have anything to say. About. It was such a blonde, nothing race. It's just like, it's going to be a race that you look back in the history book and it's like, wow, that happened. It certainly did happen. All the adoring fans watching at home on a Monday. Isn't that strange? Is that just like all these rain delayed races in one form or another? Even if they happen during the day it was scheduled, even if it happens during the next day, even if it happens during both, all of the above, they're always terrible except for Bristol races. That is a zit. I was wondering if that was a zit. I thought it was just an awkward shadow, but no, it is in fact a zit. Anyway, my face is a mess. As you can plainly see. I mean, you got this, you, you got my, you got the new phone camera that's so detailed. You got me in like 60 frames per second. Whoa. And then you got like fine, crisp detail in every single facial hair, every individual strand has its own little, um, pixel, right? It has its own pixel, right? String of pixels. This is such a good video. I can tell why people subscribe to me. I can tell why my race reviews get thousands of views, man. I can tell why. I can see. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. In fact, the rain has gone. The rain is gone. And it stayed away long enough for a 400 lap race at Darlington to happen. And to the, uh, to the absolute no sound of anyone. Cause no, one I forgot my code at work. Fuck. I'm going to have to go back before they put in fucking lost and found again. Oh my God, dude. Whatever, who cares? It's like, who cares? And just nothing matters. Nothing matters. It's not important. Anyway, boring race. Glad I went to work and got paid instead of sitting home and watching that. That's personally where I'm sitting at here. Bowman, two back to back, to back second place finishes, man. What the fuck? Where did this speed go? Where has this speed been the past two years? Huh? Where has it been?
I'll tell you where it's been. It's been up Greg Ives' ass. Anyway, you know what? I'm I'm not surprised. I actually am surprised. Okay, I'm I'm both surprised and not surprised that Bowman did really well this week because in the spring Dover race last season, he led 65 laps, I'm pretty sure. In the fall race, he was working on making the second round of the chase. Right? No, he had made the second round of the chase, and he was working on, like, locking himself into the third round, right? Because he was doing, he was fucking doing good, man. He was doing some good shit, man. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not gonna lie, not bad. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm not, but I am surprised that he did good because he had to go to the back like everyone else. But what I was surprised by when I was, like, watching and shit was that Bowman was keeping pace with Truex through that early run. Like, it took, what, 30 laps for Truex to get around Bowman? And I know that, you know, it's impossible to pass with this package and all, but at the same time, like, they were working through traffic. Just fine. Yeah, the first two stages were good. You got a, you got a really good chance of the first stage being good with this new uh, single car qualifying stuff, because hopefully this means that it's uh, single round qualifying, not single... Like, even if they did single round in uh, the uh, group qualifying, they'd probably... It would probably have been better than what it turned out to be. Because all the good cars are always going to start up front with group qualifying because they have 15 attempts. But if you fuck up once, you know, in one lap, you know, all of them, then like it's going to be like the good old days, man. I'm happy as fuck that they brought back single car qualifying because we already saw a better first stage in that in today's race, probably than we've seen all season. And I think that falls on the back of not only a green racetrack, but also group or in group qualifying going away, single car returning. I think a lot of that has to do with it because you had Bush starting 22nd. Truex would have started 13th. Like, he probably still would have gotten up to the end of that stage two. He probably would have still won stage two. He might have even won stage one. But I could tell that he had a killer car because he was just, he just destroyed them on pit road every single time because he made it, what was it? He was like, he didn't even get into the top 10 at the end of the first stage, right? And then he restarted like eighth on the restart for stage two. And it's like, damn, damn pit crew. And then he stayed eighth for most of that stage. Then he pit first, he came out like third. And it's like, (laughs) but yeah, so it was an inevitability. I mean, if something stupid had happened to Truex and Bowman won this race, I wouldn't have even been mad. I wouldn't have even been mad, man. I wouldn't have been mad. Heard a weird sound there. It sounded like air was coming out. And I'm thinking, did I fucking blow a goddamn tire here? But yeah, um, I managed to stretch eight minutes out of this. So I'd say that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Considering that I had nothing to say. So that's pretty good. I'm going to call that a video. Sayonara, senoritas. This has been Kakaz Games. Bullshitting out eight minute long video. Good shit. Bye.